What's up? It's Nick Gallo, Gallo, the guy you know. I'm here with singer-songwriter Major, who, bro, you you killed it tonight. Yo, like, man. killed it. It felt so good to be here in Chicago. The love from the people, the energy, the vibrations. I'm just, I'm grateful, man. Yeah. I feel like that bottle right there just poured out, you know? And so I'm just, you know, just working on whatever good vibes are left in the space. And I'm just, I'm, God is so good, man. Mm, yeah, so, well, one thing I was saying, like, between, I feel like you, Luke James, and Gene Noble oh, wow. are the three, are like, you know, are that Gene, Noble? Gene Noble's dope. Luke I just, James, that's my brother. Yeah. You listen, I, that's amazing. So you know music. Okay. Well, okay. Music yeah. Music yeah. Like, you three, I feel, are, like, the R&B legends of wow. this time. Like, I don't say about too many of them, like, these three guys, like, I could see you are the... Wow. You know, just another five to ten years going to blow up more. Because uh, the gift that that uh, Gene Noble carries is magnanimous. It's so freaking special. And he's unapologetically him. Yeah. And it's the same thing about my brother, Luke James. Mm -hmm. Luke's show and his execution is is second to none. And, and so I'm honored to be, you know, within that that group of people that you would even consider legend. You know, um, that's my goal. Um, you know, I want to be a legend. I want I want to leave legacy. I think legends leave legacy. Yeah. And that's what I'm about. So, yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. Sure. And I know you've been here for almost like a full two days. Yeah. So what have you been doing? How, you know, how's it been? You check out any good spots? Yo, yo, yo. I went to Harold's Chicken. Yeah, I got, you got to hit Harold's. I got them got salt it. and pepper wings <laughs> with extra mild sauce. <laughs> yeah, it was that was so freaking good. Um, And yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to not overdo it. But I stopped by V103 and, and 106. Point three and and just it's it's a, f a few stations. Um, what was that station last night uh, with Art? Art was the host. It was amazing. It was talk radio. I'm just I'm super grateful. A two production showing me so much love here at the winery. So much love, Gallo. <laughs> so much love. Appreciate hey. Yeah, and you know your project. I am major. The EP. You know, um, can you tell me a little bit about it? How long was the process? Was it, it was a long a long process? It was a it was a long time coming because, like I said in the show, I've I've known rejection mm -hmm. well, and um, so many no's, there was so many hurry up and waits, and and we were just making the music, and then eventually my my current producer Harmony Samuels, my brother, he was like, listen, we're just gonna put this music out. We're gonna make it excellent as excellent as it can possibly be and we're going to put this out and watch how the world takes notice and literally that led by why i love you mm -hmm. has opened up so many doors the people are embracing it singing back to me the the project i am major is like an homage to yesteryear it's like you know the the kings of performance you know what i mean like you know from the jackie wilson's and nat king coles the sam cooks to james browns to the cap calloways and the and the majors you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's 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 it's, it's vibey. It's yeah. fun. It's it's hopeful, mm -hmm. and that's what they Yahoo Music. Um, Billy Johnson of Yahoo Music. He said, "Major is the hope dealer of the mainstream industry," and that's what I'm going. That's how I'm rocking. Yeah. And one thing I like you did that a lot of artists don't, and I feel like more should. Yeah. The Why I Love You remix. Yeah. Oh. It's two different songs. It's dope because you could be on mainstream and you could be on R&B urban. Somebody listen to the brother. Gallo's talking truth. Preach, Gallo. For, like, for real. Like, that's yeah. just Justin Bieber. Yeah. And you could be just up yeah. there on mainstream. Yeah. Just, like, it's so dope. On, when they catch on, they're going to catch on. I'm learning to, I'm learning pace is grace. Yeah. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Pace is grace. Yeah. They don't always get it in the beginning. But if yeah. you keep it excellent, if you keep it true, mm -hmm. the world will take notice <laughs> and they'll adjust. I'm There's speaking to you. Oh, I know patience is ideal. Pace is grace. Mm -hmm. Not too slow, not too yeah. fast. Find a rhythm. And in due yeah. time, you're going to end up right where you belong. Yeah, for sure. And how did you come up with that? Like, was that your idea to come out with the remix or um, we just kind of? Yeah, well, we were, Harmony was just like, yo. We got to do that. That's him on it. La, la. Uh -huh, it's dope. Hey, yeah. you know, so it's, it's, we just, we just commit to a moment of inspiration 
and and we share it with the people. What's coming? That that album, the the, the debut album. You heard the EP. I am major. Make sure y'all get that. That album, no. <laughs> Is about to be on and pop it. Yeah. Stadium music. I'm so I'm so ready. I'm so ready. And how has it been? You know, I know you're a songwriter first. You know, you work with Ariana Grande, Fantasia, Michelle uh, Williams. Well, well Harm Harmony produced all of them. I um I wrote with uh, Nathan Sykes uh, of the Wanted, and oh, it yeah. featured Ariana Grande on over and over again. Vocal produced uh, that with you know vocal produced Ari and and Nathan and La Portia Renee of American Idol, and and I uh, have songs and movies. Uh, Think like a man too. Um, it's it's a, it's it's amazing. I learned that you serve in the space that you ultimately want to conquer. Yeah. So I said, well, let me contribute to these folks that are dreaming real big, because I know eventually I want somebody to do the same for me. So I gave them my best, and um, and the songs have taken off, and I'm doing my thing, my song that I that I wrote. You know, um, I've co-written most of all my stuff I write, um, and the people are receiving it. Stevie Wonder said it's the it's the wedding song of the year. It is. I said, hey, I'll it's go with that. Timeless. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, man. Yeah. You heard them tonight singing it, it back. Great. The whole the they whole were crowd. singing it back to me. <laughs> the whole crowd. I mean, they don't want they don't want to get off stage. No, it was it was amazing, man. I'm so so grateful. Yeah. So yeah. grateful. Yeah. And what's one thing you have learned that you would have told yourself or really would have been more prepared, I guess, before you got into the music industry? A no is not the final. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay to get a no. Yeah. Definitely. It's okay to get a whole bunch of no's. <laughs> but if you know K N O W within that you belong here, yeah. you will. I you will be. That. Yeah. Hundred percent. You sure. will get there. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I wish I had a learn that earlier because I probably would have taken life a little different. I wouldn't have been so dejected in those seasons and depressed because I know depression. I, so that's why I sing to that. Mm -hmm. So many people are depressed and it starts with laziness yeah. because uh, laziness is a, is a mild symptom of depression. It's an early symptom. Yeah. And once it starts piling up, then it gets you into a pit that seems endless, yeah. but there's hope. Definitely. And so I, I said, let me let me make a soundtrack to giving people hope again mm -hmm. and pulling them out of their place and setting them right <laughs> where they belong. Dope, dope. And now for the album, do you want to still work with other artists or would you want to just solely you're just focused on major right now? Well, um, I'm, I'm down for writing and working with anybody. Okay. If it's great, mm -hmm. it's great. It's got to speak to where I'm trying to go as far as a conversation and purpose. Yeah. If it's not purpose, it's not me. I don't want a part of it. But if it's purpose, we rock with it. Yeah, for sure. You know, I would love to collaborate with Bruno Mars. I would love uh, to collaborate. You can see that, huh? Universe, Let's man. put it out there. Bruno Mars, Bruno yeah. Mars. And yeah. I want you to play this when it happens. But uh, Bruno Mars, I would love to. Um, his yeah. Dope. Thank you, man. Dope. Yeah, just the way you are. Song. That's it's genius. One of the best songs still from him. His still. first single, still one. Absolutely, best. absolutely. Um, so many people that I would be honored to collaborate: Andre 3000, uh, Kanye, um, Beyonce, who's from my hometown, Adele, like so many, <laughs> so many. John Legend, so many. I'd be honored. I'd be honored. Chance the rapper. Yeah, I'd be honored. He's so dope. Yeah. Yo, so yeah, I, I just take it one moment at a time. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna laugh and look back yeah. at this years from now. We're gonna be legends, yeah, right. and we'll be like, "Yo, remember that remember moment? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah." And what, what's one goal that you want to pursue in 2017? By the end of this year, like, I want to do this. Anything that pops out? I want to reach as many people as possible around the world with this hope conversation. Mm -hmm. I really, really do. Yeah, I really, up. really do. It's so many people losing hope right now. And if I can give, the beauty of hope is hope. Hope has a power that lifts you above your circumstance, mm -hmm. no matter how crazy it is. Yeah. It has a way of saying, yo, 
there's possibility that this ain't going to end bad. It can be sweet if you choose to believe it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So I, that's that's what I want to do. And and it's it's happening. It's happening. You know, be it through radio, TV, movie, films, whatever. I want to be able to reach as many people as possible. Yeah. Another thing I appreciate you, you're always on IG Live. Yeah. You get connected with the yeah. people, okay? Yeah. You're in the studio. Hey, even if it's just five minutes, you yeah. always stay connected yeah. with your followers, your fans. I have you know, a whole yeah. bunch of siblings. I grew up connected to a community. So I'm always about connecting heart to heart because when you, when you come from heart, you'll reach heart. Yeah. And then heart makes a way for you. And so I'm, I'm, that's what I'm always about. And I want to engage. I want to hear yeah. what the people are saying. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to do my best to commit to that because I know when you get so busy, it's hard to stay connected. But um, hold me to it. Remind me. Be like, yo, Major, get back with the people. Don't forget the people mm -hmm. if I miss that. But I think that's actually going to be the theme of who I am. I'm, I'm for the people. Remember Ali was for the people? Yeah, for the people. He was a people's champ. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, yeah, bro, I want to wish you all the best of luck. Thank you, King. You know, this summer, I know the EP and then the album as well. And I know you're going to keep supporting. Yeah, for man. sure, for sure, bro. Yeah, and it's Nick Gale, okay, the guy you know. You're yeah. a major. Gale, the guy you know. <laughs> I like that. You like that? Yeah. I like that. No major. one liked it at the beginning either. No one liked it. Everyone was like, you got to cut it down. But they adjust. Oh, yeah. That once it popped off Chance a little. Chance the rapper. <laughs> They had just. just mm hmm. All right. <laughs> 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 For people, this is Major, a.k.a. Mr. This is why I love you. And we rocking with Gallo, the guy you know. Hey.